Pluto is like no other planet in the solar system. Wait, Pluto is not a planet, isn't it? Ah, forget it. Welcome to Pluto. This place where most of you wished it was a planet, but it's not. It's a dwarf planet. I wish we had landed on Mars by now, but we haven't. The International Astronomical Union says there are three criteria in order for an object to be considered a planet. It has to orbit around the Sun, it has to have sufficient mass to assume hydrostatic equilibrium, a nearly round shape, and it has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. While Pluto is in orbit around the Sun and is also round, it hasn't cleared the neighborhood around its orbit, meaning there are still asteroids in Pluto's orbit. And if you're not able to do so, you're going to be considered a dwarf planet. Pluto simply isn't big enough to clear its neighborhood properly. It's even smaller than the Moon, people! Pluto's only about 1,400 miles wide, and that's about 70% of the diameter of the Moon, and only 18% of the Earth's diameter. It's a marble compared to other planets. Pluto also has a moon, but is it really a moon? A lot of scientists don't think so, and that's due to its large size compared to Pluto. These two worlds are in a mutual tidal locking, meaning the same faces always face each other. Charon orbits Pluto every 6.4 Earth day. Charon's mass is half of that of Pluto, meaning that the Pluto-Charon system might be a binary planet system, or better, say binary dwarf planet system, with its center of mass somewhere in between the two objects. Another reason Pluto isn't considered a planet is that its eccentric and inclined orbit is very different from all the other eight planets. If we were to consider Pluto as a planet, then many other Kuiper Belt objects, such as Eris, Hamea and Makemake would also be considered planets. But you don't see Eris whining about it. Pluto is a dwarf planet, so get over it and let's move on. Over the years, our view of Pluto has improved drastically, especially after NASA's New Horizons spacecraft passed by the dwarf planet in 2015, becoming the first and only man-made object to do so. A lot of things, such as Pluto's size, were a mystery until New Horizons came, saw and conquered. This is a true color image of Pluto caught by New Horizons spacecraft from 22,025 miles away during the approach. And this one is a true color image of Charon taken from 46,091 miles away. But the spacecraft caught plenty more pictures. And we on the ground were stunned when we saw what these bodies looked like. It turned out that despite their size, Pluto and Charon are pretty complex worlds. Both objects showed relatively recent geologic activities, including nitrogen ice glaciers, mountains, and even ice volcanoes on Pluto, and large valleys and cliffs on Charon, thus indicating tectonic activity over there and hinting at a possible subsurface ocean that has long since frozen and expanded, pushing outward and causing Charon's surface to stretch and fracture on a massive scale. But did you know that Pluto has not one, but five moons? While Pluto and Charon orbit each other like a double planet, the other moons orbit tightly close to Pluto. So close, in fact, that you could fit three Pluto systems between Earth and our moon. Also, did you know that on Pluto, the Sun rises and sets once each Earth week? That is because the dwarf planet rotates in the opposite direction from Earth and rotates very slowly around itself. Pluto's distance from the Sun has a big impact on the strength of its atmosphere due to the shift in temperature. When it's closest to the Sun, Pluto can reach temperatures of minus 369 Fahrenheit, meaning the surface ices sublimate or transform from solid to gas, and this creates a weak atmosphere. Computer simulations have shown that this atmosphere allows for atmospheric winds of 225 miles per hour. A recent study by a team of researchers from India, Brazil, and France suggests that Pluto's atmospheric pressure on its surface is 80,000 times less than that on Earth. When farthest from the Sun, Pluto's temperatures can fall to minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit. At this distance, the dwarf planet's atmosphere virtually disappears and the gases transition back to ice. American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh was the first to discover Pluto in 1930. While analyzing photographs taken on different days, he noticed movement. After studying the object to confirm it, the staff of Lowell Observatory officially announced the discovery of a ninth planet on March 13, 1930. 
An interesting fact is that the New Horizons spacecraft carries a small amount of Tom Bos ashes. His ashes were placed in an aluminum capsule within the space probe in 2006. The probe also carries two US flags, an ironic US postage stamp reading Pluto not yet explored, and a Florida state quarter, given to the New Horizons principal investigator Alan Stern by then Florida Governor Jeb Bush. New Horizons is currently exploring the Kuiper Belt beyond Pluto and is on its way out of the solar system and into interstellar space, traveling faster than a bullet. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.